Before I start the video, I have a small request for you guys, from me and on behalf of entire YouTube content creator community. We work so hard to prepare content to deliver to you guys so you guys can learn or enjoy. We spend hours for editing, writing and collecting information. So please guys, whenever I upload a video, just for once, watch the video completely without downloading from third party app or using the offline download feature. Watch the video completely one time, only then download for future purpose. That will help us to grow and it motivates us to create more good content for you guys. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Do you want to change the look of your Kali Linux and transform your interface from this to this? Then watch the video till end. Without any further ado, let's begin. Before I start the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you are new and don't forget to hit the bell icon uh, to get notified when I upload video next time. Alright, so let's begin modifying or customizing your Kali Linux desktop environment and the tool we are going to use is called GNOME. Uh, it's basically uh, like a theme uh, for the Kali Linux uh, or the user interface or the desktop environment you can call also. Uh, you have to start your terminal then before starting uh, the uh, in, before, before installing the num you have to update your kali linux sudo apt update and also upgrade turn by turn and i have already done this so i'm going to modify uh, start uh, i'm going to start the modification uh, straight away so to do that you have to type sudo and also make sure you are connected to the internet all right so i'm going to type sudo apt install kali dash linux sorry i'm sorry kali desktop dash g n o m e nom and i'm gonna put dash y uh, whatever pop-ups with uh, yes or no question then uh, that will go with uh, yes by default so I'm gonna press enter and put the password now it will take some time so you have to wait for wait patiently I will I will return after it's uh, done all right Now here select GDM3 and press enter. Now it's done. You can simply reboot the system by reboot. I'm sorry. sudo reboot and press enter. Now, as you can see, uh, the system has been rebooted. Click on the user, then enter the password. Also, you can click here to select the uh, desktop environment and uh, here by default it's uh, norm. And this is the default uh, X, XFSC uh, desktop environment uh, comes with the Kali Linux. So I'm going with this one and uh, I'm gonna type the password. Now as you can see the norm has been installed successfully. Now the first thing you you can do after it's rebooted either you can delete the default desktop environment of Kali Linux or you can just switch the default also and uh, you can do whatever you like uh, i'm just gonna perform both of uh, both of those if you want i'm gonna 
go to the terminal and I'm going to split the terminal oh I'm sorry it doesn't have the split uh, feature right now okay if you want to switch the default desktop environment to norm you can simply do that by sudo task cell and press enter and enter the root password press enter then after this you can use the arrow key to select the norm environment you can go here and press enter i mean press spacebar to select this one and you can unselect or deselect this one or other one also so we are going with the norm only and you can click at ok this is the first option or you can do I'm gonna just simply remove the default uh, desktop environment of the Kali Linux by sudo apt remove Kali dash I'm sorry Kali dash desktop dash x x f f s e space x x f s e asterisk and l i g s t d m light d m and press enter and press y and press enter and after this sudo apt auto remove and press enter and y for yes now it's done now let's modify something here I'm gonna close the terminal and as you can see we have a docker on this side and you can also apply some theme and to do that you can simply go to your browser open your browser Then you can download different sort of theme for uh, themes and icon for from just simply go to norm dash look dash org and press enter. Now as you can see on your left hand side you can see different options you want to download. I'm simply going to rating and uh, let's say I, I want this one or maybe this one whatever you like and um, let's see okay I'm gonna pick this one oh, oh this one let's see now you can download this from here I'm going with the light version and this one and save the file okay now you can also download some icon packs let's see uh, we have full icon themes here i'm gonna click here and uh, we will also go with the uh, rating and let's go with the highest rating icon theme okay let's go with the uh, with, okay this one maybe or this one okay i'm going to this one And as you can see you can preview the icon and if you like this you can just simply download this one okay okay uh, let's say I'm gonna skip this one and uh, I, will, I will give you the idea and since you are a non root user you need to extract the downloaded theme file uh, in, in, a, in a, into a specific folder I'm gonna show you how uh, just go to your application and search here for tweaks T W yeah this one click here it's actually norm tweaks uh, you don't have to install this separately and as you can see if you go to extensions and go down here you can see user themes and load cell themes from user directory and if you if you click here uh, Kali dark is set by default I'm gonna close this one and close this one also and go to your files and go to your download directory 
and this is the theme we have just downloaded right so I'm going to extract this theme file in user directory and to do that go to home and press ctrl H or let's see go here and show hidden files either you can do this now you have to create a folder by right click new folder and name it dot themes and create because you are a non root user you have to do you have to do this all right now extract the file the downloaded file right click and extract to home themes and select you can extract there okay now let's see okay it's here now if you go to tweaks you can go to appearance and in application theme you can select professional proof norm light 3.6 you can click here yeah as you can see now it's been changed and also you can download icon icons icon theme from that particular website i norm look you can download the icons also but and also when you download the icon you can do the same thing just like you did with the theme right click create a new folder and name it dot icons and create after that you can extract the icon file inside this folder now in my case i'm going to use vibrancy kali and kali x theme so i'm this is the theme and this is the icon theme so i'm going to extract this file to the theme folder and this file to the icon folder now i will provide you the link to download this uh, icon you can get from the uh, link from the description below okay let's see we are waiting because it's getting extracted okay it's done let's go and check all right okay let's go with the theme first okay it's done and uh, icons is done now it's been extracted you can hide the file again so hidden file or press ctrl h now open your tweaks then i'm going to appearance let's see application should be kali x and icon should be vibrancy kali and as you can see the icons and other things has been changed now i'm gonna close this now you can modify the docker on your right side by right click and dash to dock setting and uh, i'm going to behavior and oh, i'm sorry i'm going to appearance and use the built-in theme and you will see something like this i'm gonna close this one and you can add or remove the program uh, your favorite program from here like right click and remove and right click and remove now i'm going to show application and let's select some file let's say i need uh, leaf pad so i'm gonna right click and add to favorite and i'm going to search for terminal terminator right click add to favorite i'm gonna escape let's see okay now as you can see your favorite program has been added here and you can also add other other program as well let's see i'm gonna add the beef okay you can press escape and as you can see it it has been customized properly so you can do this and you can download the theme package from the link given in the description box you can download it from there and you can use it all right so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share also and if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon all right so see you in the next video